Earth rotates on its axis once per day, and it orbits the Sun once per year. Earth's radius at the equator is 6378 kilometers, which is 6.38 times 10 to the 6 meters. And its orbital radius around the Sun, one astronomical unit, one AU, is about 150 million kilometers. That's 1.50 times 10 to the 11th meters, and we'll call that R sub SE, the distance between the Sun and the Earth. Part A of this problem asks us to find the Earth's orbital angular speed in radians per second. So omega SE equals delta theta over delta T. The Earth goes through an orbit of 2 pi radians, one complete revolution each year. And we convert this to radians per second using 1 year equals 3.156 times 10 to the 7 seconds, finding that it equals 1.99 times 10 to the minus 7 radians per second. Part B asks for the angular speed due to the Earth's rotation around its own axis. There we have 2 pi radians, one complete revolution each day. A day is 86,400 seconds, so apply that unit conversion to find the Earth's angular speed about its own axis is 7.27 times 10 to the minus fifth radians per second. Part C asks for Earth's tangential speed around the Sun. That's how many meters per second it's sweeping out as it orbits around the Sun. V sub t is r omega, so in our case we get the distance between the Sun and the Earth times the angular speed of the Earth around the Sun, and substitute values to see that it equals 2.98 times 10 to the fourth meters per second. You can do a unit conversion to see that equals about 19 miles every second. Part D asks for the tangential speed of a point on the Earth's equator due to its rotation around its own axis. So we use the same equation, applying it to the Earth's rotation. So we have radius of the Earth times omega sub e, the angular speed of the Earth around its own axis, and we substitute those values, calculating to find that speed is 464 meters per second. That's how fast a point on the equator is moving. That works out to less than a third of a mile each second. Finally, part E asks us for the components of a point's acceleration on Earth's equator. The radial component is v squared over r, that's r omega squared, and we can substitute values to see that equals 0 0.0337 meters per second squared. The tangential component is r times alpha, where alpha is the angular acceleration. That's approximately zero, so there's approximately no tangential acceleration of a point on the equator.